Hey, does this, uh, does this Surgical Tech Tips guy still make videos? I haven't seen him upload in a while. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. I'm not, uh, I'm not as on point as I once was. It's been pretty busy lately. But, I wanted to bring you guys a little video today going over some things that I've been reading in the news. Uh, a surgical issue that's happened down in Florida and a couple new technologies that have come out. Stay tuned. So Florida, what's going on? I see your state in the news more than any other state here in the US. There's always something crazy happening in Florida. And this time, it's a surgical issue. There was a doctor, Dr. Vasquez, I believe, in West Palm Beach, Florida. And he mistakenly has taken out a kidney from a patient. I guess this kidney had re never really ascended into this patient's abdomen. He went in, thought it was a tumor, and had taken it out because it wasn't in its normal retroperitoneal space where a kidney usually is. But the main issue here is that the doctor actually stated that he did not look at this patient's medical history before operating on her. Huge mistake, huge mistake. The man is paying a fine and also going through education, pre-operative education, to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Pretty, pretty weird. Florida. Florida. <laughs> now the second piece of news I have for you is pretty interesting. It's a new technology that's come out from a company called Moximed, and they are in their human clinical trials currently, and it's a knee shock absorber people very very cool technology uh, as you well know that a lot of our surgeries that we see as far as orthopedics go are totals they could be total hips or total joints total knees stuff like that so this device uh, could potentially keep someone from having the need to have a total knee replacement or at least put it off for you know some amount of years you know, when people need total knee replacements because the cartilage in their joints gets broken down from arthritis and you just have that bone on bone rubbing and these people have just chronic pain and they can barely walk sometimes in the more like extreme circumstances. So being able to catch that arthritis, you know, as the cartilage is breaking down kind of ahead of time and possibly utilizing a shock absorber like this implanted uh, on your knee pretty interesting it, and it could keep you from having the need for having a total knee replacement you know in two years and maybe putting it off for 10 years down the road or 15 years down the road who knows it's a it's a human clinical trial so it'd be interesting to follow this and and see where it goes but uh, very interesting technology it's always it's always cool to see innovation like that and the last piece of news I have for you, it's something that just came out of CES this year. They have this uh, consumer electronics show out here in Las Vegas every year. It's one of the biggest uh, technology and electronic shows, I think, in the world. People come from all over the world out here to come to this, this uh, convention. And uh, there's a company that has created this new virtual reality uh, kind of medical imaging program. Um, now, you, you think of an MRI. When you go in for an MRI, uh, the radiologists are basically taking a 3D image. Let's say it's your head. They're taking a 3D image, your, your 3D head, and slicing it into hundreds and thousands of different pictures. So, if you have, say, a tumor in your head or, you know, something like that, and the surgeon needs to find out where the tumor is, they're able to look at all of those different slices and 
it's pretty interesting. You know, they pop it up on the computer, they pop up the MR MRI scan on the computer, and they're just rolling through all the all the different slides with the rollerball on the mouse. But um, you know, their surgeons are actually seeing that in 2D, so they're converting uh, a 3D image, you yourself, into a 2D image through MRI. But with this company, they're taking that MRI 2D image and converting it back into a 3D virtual reality image. So the surgeon can effectively put on this VR goggle headset, uh, look at the MRI of you, the, the actual person, and you know, take a bone flap off, take the take the whole brain out and look at the whole brain and find out exactly where the tumor is to give them a better understanding of the path that they need to take and maybe where exactly they want to make an incision. That technology to me is so cool, so amazing. Uh, I love the future. It's going to be so awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. Short little video, I know. I had a crazy baseball tournament last weekend with my son, and it's just been busy, 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 busy. Uh, I hope to do another OR video here pretty soon, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.